Now she have carried the potential energy in the spring to create a forward motion. That potential energy is then changed into kinetic energy because the arm moving forward. The car uses mechanical ener- advantage to convert the energy of the arm shooting downwards to create an outburst of energy. To calculate the mechanical advantage, it is very simple. The metal part of the mouse strap is 2 inches long and the wooden dial used for the arm is 12 inches. Mechanical advantage would be 1 6 times the diameter of the axle quarter inch and the wheel is 5 inches. Mechanical advantage there is 1 20th. Total advantage is calculated by 1 6 times 1 20th equals 120th. This means that the force outside the wheels is 120 times weaker than at the end of the metal string. But it would travel 120 times further. For my car to give me the best results, I used CDs, which I thought were enough to slow down the release of the energy from the trap to try and gain as much distance possible. Rather than a small wheel design that would generate a lot of speed but less distance, I tried limiting the weight to, but not a lot. I used a, wood, a wooden base to make sure the car had a very strong base to build on. I used a tough string instead of a dental floss, even though it's not that much of a distance not that much of a mass difference. To limit the friction, I use a smooth surface in my house, which was available to me at the time. Even though there was ridges because of the hardwood I was on, I went against it so the CD wheels would not get caught. I use CDs in the attempt to gain traction while the car is moving, so if it was anything on the floor, it would remain on the same course. To limit the friction in the axle, I made the holes for the wooden straws like arms so they can fit through it and give the car the best results possible.